Hello guys and welcome to a new video of this JavaFX8 tutorial and today we're going to talk about the flow pane ok so let's start ok here we are in Netflix and I have created this code for you in order to explain how a flow pane works so let's go to a slide and see uh, how we can um, give some format to this flow pane ok so the flow pane uh, the idea behind the flow pane is that all the elements that you add, all the nodes that you add to the flow pane will flow starting for a, um, a point uh, that you can set or you can modify uh, will flow and will be arranged one next to the other like like here okay so <clears throat> you will be able to to set the orientation of, the, of this flow pane it can be uh, it can arrange all the nodes in a vertical way okay or in an horizontal way okay so we have here uh, how uh, a method that we can that uh, will help us to set the orientation and the method is set orientation you can use vertical here or horizontal uh, if you choose uh, horizontal it will be like this image here like um, like this example and all the nodes will be will flow in rows okay uh, this row here and then another row and so on and if you choose vertical orientation the uh, elements the nodes will flow uh, in columns okay so for example here you have this rectangle and the other element will be placed here and um, below this rectangle and so on so how this uh, how does the flow pane uh, find the, the size okay so by default the size of the flow pane is 400 pixels okay and if uh, the elements if the width of the elements or the height of the elements depending on the orientation uh, is more than this 400 uh, 100 pixels uh, the flow pane will start a new row or a new column. Okay, so we are not uh, we don't need to use only 400 pixels. What if we want more more pixels? So in order to do that, to uh, set more uh, 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 more pixels, to give more pixels to the flow pane, we use this method here, which is set prep wrap length. Yeah, as you can see in the example we have 600 pixels or you can set another number if you want so this means that uh, the flow pane will have 600 pixels of length and if the nodes uh, the width of the nodes or the height of the nodes is more than this 600 pixels then another row or another column will start and you can define the the size or you can set the size that, that you desire to to this flow pane. So another important thing here is to say that all the elements by default default will start flowing from the top uh, left corner of the pane. But you can modify uh, this with the set alignment uh, uh, set alignment method and you can choose the position, the, posi uh, the position of the of the of the elements. For example, in this example here, it says top right, so the elements will flow from the from the right, the right of the of the, of the pane, the right side of the pane, and then uh, they will they will flow. So they will be aligned there. Okay. Uh, another important thing here is to say that the width or the height of the elements is considering also the horizontal gap the horizontal gap is the uh, space between elements inside the flow pane and the vertical gap which is the space uh, between the elements as well but in a, <coughs> in a vertical uh, vertical orientation so we have set h gap and set v gap to set this uh, spacing in pixels between the elements okay and well this is a pane so we will also have all the methods that a normal pane has for example a set margin that we reviewed in the last video with the hbox and the vbox 
and this set margin method is uh, only is used to set a margin to to a specific shape or a specific uh, node inside the, the the pane. And also we can set a padding. A padding is the distance. Uh, um, it's like a margin, but for for the flow uh, for a flow pane, it's a distance uh, to the border uh, from the border to the to the elements. Okay, and we can set the distance for uh, each side of the flow pane. Okay, so this is the idea behind the flow pane, and now let's go to NetBeans uh, and see how this uh, <coughs> how how this code uh, works. Okay, so. Here we have a root node, and we have uh, we have uh, defined three elements, uh, two rectangles and one circle, and then we have here our flow pane. So this flow pane has uh, another orientation, which is horizontal orientation, orientation, and uh, this means that the elements will flow horizontal in an horizontal way, and we have an alignment of top left. Uh, we can and uh, let this uh, line if we want because the default uh, alignment is top left and then we have here an H gap and a V gap of uh, 10 pixels each of each and you know this is the horizontal gap and this is the space between elements and uh, in an horizontal way and the space between elements uh, in a vertical way Okay, we have a padding. We have set uh, a padding of five pixels in each uh, side side of the of the flow pane, and also our pref uh, wrap length is six hundred pixels. Okay, and also we have set a margin for the ellipse, uh, the circle of two two pixels uh, in for each side of the of the node of the circle. Uh, uh, and then, well, in this line here, we are adding the flow pin with the method get children, and then the method add all. We are, are adding our three nodes. Okay. And finally, as as we already know, we need to add the flow pin to the root node. Okay. So this is how how the <coughs> the application looks like. And as you can see here. Uh, we have this space here, and that's the padding. Okay, the padding that we set in the code, and also we have uh, mm, the space here uh, between the elements, which is ten. The horizontal gap here is it's ten. But also we have more uh, more space because we set a margin for the circle, so that's why this margin is a little bit. Uh, <coughs> Uh, bigger than we expected. Okay, so if we would like to uh, to create a new row in this case, we will need to uh, to increase the length of one of these uh, nodes. Why? Because now, for example, we have around uh, five thousand uh, pixels in total of, of width. Uh, counting all the all the elements, and we need to pass 600 if we want a new a new row here. So let's try to to do this and and see how uh, how it looks. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to increase the <coughs> the width of the first rectangle, and I'm gonna change it to, to um, 400. So let's run the application and see. How it looks. Okay, as you can see here, we we increase the the length or the or the width of this rectangle, and we are passing the 600 pixels for um, <coughs> uh, of length for this flow pane, and that's why we have here a new uh, a new row. Okay, so it is important to set a uh, the the pref length the preferred length for the uh, for the flow pane uh, to the number of pixels that will work better for us okay so that's the idea uh, with the flow pane and and 
And yes, I hope you, you found it useful. Okay, so that's everything for today, guys, and thank you for watching this video again. And don't miss the next video, it will be about another pain, which is border pain. Okay, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.